Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today I want to continue with my searching for files and folders and things on my computer and specifically today I want to have a look at Aperture and looking for photographs. I've changed over from iPhoto to Aperture because Aperture is better when you have a lot more photographs and there's so many more things you can do with it so let's have a look and see what we can do with sorting things out. At first it kind of looked a bit difficult because we've got things like we've got folders, we've got projects, we've got albums We've got a whole lots of different sort of things in there we can look for and uh, to use. We've got smart albums as well. And then we've got books like table slideshows, web journals and web pages. And uh, none of those other things I'm interested in at the moment. So let's have a look at projects and so on. Well, it's a bit funny because you can have folders. Now there's a folder, for instance, and within that folder I've got a project. You can't have folders inside projects, but you can have projects inside folders. So you can have these albums inside projects and have albums inside folders as well. So it can get a little bit confusing. Now for myself, the way I've decided to get it all set up is that I have some folders, like this is a folder here, and inside this folder I've got projects which are creative projects. So this is where I've done stuff and it's nothing to do with anything personal, it's just things I've taken because I like taking photographs. And I've put all my stuff into that there if it's creative. And then I've got this one here which is for personal photos and basically I've got projects inside there. And that's kind of a handy way to organise it. And within that, I've got my family, which is in a folder inside a folder. And then I've got projects inside of that. So there you go. This is um, basically a bit of sorting out that I've done. And then what I've done is I've set up some smart albums. So anything that's been taken with my Galaxy S3 goes automatically into this folder here. Anything with the Apple iPhone goes into this one here. Then I've had a few different cameras along the way. So I've got the Olympus, I've had the 400D, the 600D. And so any of these photographs taken with various cameras all end up in those particular folders. And then I've got some set up for years. So this one here is anything that was before the end of 2003. And then right up coming up to 2013. These are basically pictures I've taken along the way. And it's all from a particular year. So that's quite handy if I'm looking for stuff like that. OK, so there you go. That's um, a couple of ways of looking at it where I've got the uh, creative photographs all in one place and they've got personal photographs in one place. And then the other way of looking at it is where you are going off on a weekend or a, or a day when you're photographing things and you want to have that as a project. So that's what I've done here with Banyolis. And in this particular case, because I go to Banyolis more than once, I've decided to have a uh, project there within that project. Because I go and I take photographs, they could be just creative where I'm taking pictures of things. Okay, so I'm just taking pictures here of things that I see around, and that's creative stuff there. And then sometimes I'm going to take pictures of the family. So I've got albums within there that are within this uh, project here and split up into two different things. So that's quite a handy way of doing it. So anytime now I go back to Banyolas, I put more pictures into there and I keep more the Banyolas pictures together. So that's another way of doing it. So then what it comes down to, how do I find these files when I want to find them? Well, I think the best thing to do is to do it as I suggested here, where you just kind of organise this as it suits you. So some way you just put personal photographs together, some way you put the creative photographs together, or whichever categories you want to set yourself with folders and projects and so on and albums and whatever. And then what you do is you put keywords on them. So let's go to this one here and show you the keywords HUD, heads up display. And as you see, I've got a lot of keywords in here. All these are keywords, look. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to look at pictures of Barcelona. So I'm going to put in here um, a search. And I can go with looking for things that are rated and if I've put stars on them, or I can look for unrated ones or rejected or flagged. Or what I can do is I can go to this one here and actually go for a proper search. And this time I'm going to say I don't want any ratings on there. I'm going to look for keywords. And I'm going to look for anything that's been keyworded with the word Barcelona. OK, so there we go, Barcelona. So anything I've taken pictures of in Barcelona, that's in there. OK, so, and these are all pictures I've taken in Barcelona. All these ones here, look. But I might want to uh, refine that search a little bit more. So let's go for rating this time. And this time I'm going to go for rating anything I've rated with four stars or above. And these are all the pictures that I've got in there. And they've been rated with five stars or above. And also they are pictures of Barcelona. They've been tagged with Barcelona. Let's have a look at this one here with a different view. Let's press the V key. And we've got this nice little view here and we can see some information here. So as you see here, keywords, architecture, Barcelona, it's the bullet. 
City, famous glass landmark, louvres, because there's a lot of louvres and windows on there. Modern, odd shapes and skyline and stuff like that. Those are the sort of keywords I've put in there to help me find this thing again. And I've also got a capture in there, modern architecture in Barcelona. There you go. That's the sort of things that you can do with this here for finding stuff. Use keywords. It's a brilliant way to get and find your stuff in Aperture. There you go. Dave Allen talking to you about how to find photographs in Aperture. So we'll have a look at this in another video and uh, see what else we can do with this with finding stuff. And talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.